I'm not a big fan of these trials, but at least, you know, this is our last one. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. <gasps> As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. <laughs> You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Okay, how do we get into... Okay. We have to sneak into the headmaster's office. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fick will know what to do. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgog knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. Aww. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the Headmaster's office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope. Scrope! But I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. Uh... I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wow. Wait. Doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? and take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may oh. come in handy. Mm. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> Whoa. That's so cool. How do you feel? Incredible. <laughs> I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black <laughs> sees me? Leave we're him doomed. to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. This is so cool. What if we just walk around? How long does this last? Can we just walk around as Professor Black? 
Let me terrorize students. Where are the students? Where are the students when you need them? Here. Do you have a moment, Professor? No! Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did! Oh, oh my yes. goodness. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Oh, really? Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> <coughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for <laughs> all my boils. <laughs> <laughs> now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! <laughs> He's terrorizing students. What could the headmaster want? Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you Gosh. doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. <laughs> I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? I'd like to give it a try. What? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hmm. On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> On your way. Well, there's one for my diary. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Professor Black. When I oh. witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Ominous? Uh, Should we speak I, to Ominous? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. Oh, no. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. Oh? I assure you, I am quite He's gonna healthy, snitch. Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. He's going to snitch. Something is very wrong with <laughs> <laughs> Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would oh, no, be better no, than no, no. none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Injury. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to. What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I. Uh -oh. You are quite impossible sometimes. Uh -oh. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Oh. Please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a head? Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. In we go. 
I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Professor, mm -hmm. a word. Oh, please. no. Mm. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I what might um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, uh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. And I don't miss him. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, mm -hmm. supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest oh. to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. No, no. Uh, I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. This is so odd. This this knight just attacked another knight. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. <laughs> Everyone's so confused. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. <gasps> oh. This is so cool. <gasps> Look at the tables! Cool. Scrope's as hard a worker as any house elf. Scrope! 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 Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question How me? How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. <gasps> uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Purity of blood? It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> close Obviously. Enough. Close enough. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah! Ah! Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, uh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Toujours uh, pur. Toujours pur. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. What is this? Ahem! Attention, students! No! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking. What, 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 what's going on? Oh, Slytherin, okay. Hide as the polyjuice would wear off. Oh, there's somewhere here that no one's up here. Uh oh. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
where is this headmaster's office? This is the longest. Oh my goodness. This is never ending. <laughs> is this it? No? Still? The gargoyle. Ooh. That's where I need to speak the password. Whisper password. Toujours pure. Toujours pure. Yes. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. <gasps> We're in the office. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fick's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. Uh -oh. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. I remember that being in one of the trailers. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. Oh. In this place, you may call me Eve. I'm, I look scary. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Um. Oh. The first you will need is a cloak. Where do I find that? In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Uh oh. Okay, great. Run, 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 run. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah! I should have run when I could. I can see by now. Best move I can. Eve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. I see. A staircase straight ahead. Okay, that one needs to move. This is really creepy. Don't enjoy this. Again? 30? What? This. How can this happen? This is very ominous. A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. This route as fast as I can. A 
That's where I need to go. But I need to find a way past them. Oh no, 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 no! Oh my. This is... I don't like this. I don't like this part. Is he looking this way? Okay, go. Mm, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's right there! Nothing this way but more danger. There must be another way to find you. Oh my gosh, there's more? I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. What? I don't Toy like this. Like the only safe way forward. Uh. Oh, close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. How am I supposed to get out? Oh, there's stairs. There's pe There's people up here too? There's so many. If he comes this way. Now's my chance. The door? Before? I thought I was invisible before. It's so slow. Yay. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. That giant doesn't see me either. This is the way forward. Yes. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Can we get out of this? Oh no. You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Uh. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. The Elder Wand? Mysterious one. It is the Elder Wand. I've never felt such power. Black and white is really throwing me off. Super 
Can I keep the elder one? I don't love this black and white. It looks like a sketchbook. Oh. We're gonna have to fight the skeleton. I should have used that for this. The troll looking. it please be it oh no there's another one a single stone this must be for me uh oh Same without her. She's dead. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. What the magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow, as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. You. Oh, what happened? Is this going to be sad?
Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Well, wasn't it? And Percival did not worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. Uh-oh. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is uh -oh. a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Uh, 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 uh. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Oh, I thought something bad was going to happen. <laughs> oh, yay, we're back. I like this much better. If the rumors are to be believed, you've taken to increasing the beast population. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? There's a nut. Mm -mm. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bakar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. There's only three, please. It's fascinating. It's disturbing. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet Wait, to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. What? It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I, I thought heard there what was you only told three Professor Bakar. Trials. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? No. She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting <laughs> Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. 
Wait, what? One, two, three, four. I thought there was only three. Let's talk to Poppy real quick. Hogs me during Christmas. Oh. You think he played out every last leaf. It's not like her to forget. Poppy. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't uh -oh. send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. There's something wrong with Gran. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. Hmm. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and locked her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Mm. Why not keep the egg? Ooh, shall we keep the egg? Let's see. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. I Let's do this, Poppy. Uh-oh. There she is. Where? Above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least ten, usually. Oh. Repair. Oh, there she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. <laughs> From a distance. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like her. How lucky. Watch your step. Oh. We've just left Poppy. Oh. Whoa. There's no turning back now. Um, also, Just got to make it to the last. Ah! She isn't making it easy. 
Not a warm welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. Um, why is this nest so far? Uh, I don't suppose you'd listen to reason. I normally try, but we're well done. Oh no. If we can get to that entrance, we can get to the nest. No, come on, come on, come on. She's leaving! Quickly! Brilliant. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Place egg. Oh, nuts. Uh oh. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. She tried to kill us. She did try That's to kill rather us. rather generous, isn't it? She did try to kill us the entire time. Only uh. until she saw her egg. At which point I thought she rather warmed to us. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. What happened? How could I have been so blind? Poppy, what happened? Oh good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. <laughs> My face. What's a Snidget? Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. 
We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're genius! The centaurs! Centaurs? They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Is this Mr. Brickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. My husband! What will I do? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband... is dead! Why? He killed him! Oh, I'm terribly Ooh. sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's oh. been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering. As he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When so my sad. husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. We'll find your son. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <sighs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. What? Well, Natty is so slow. Natty, let's go. When I took the letter we found oh to gosh. Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Halo. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Oh no. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need Beast something welcome. more. This must be little Archie's no. hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. He would not have done this to his own hideout. I should have... Um... His footprints. He went this way. But I want to see what's in here. That? Rebellion. I have to remember I to start my found stuff. Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Pass with that wolf pack. We should look around. Revenue. 
Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Um. Archie went this way. What is this? Oh, the deer. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Halo kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlo caught up to him here. This is not oh, no. good. They went this way. Naughty. Is this a glitch? Did I find a glitch? Guys, I found a glitch. Natty is <laughs> running into a tree right now. Um, where do you want me to go? Girl. Where do Rebellion. I go? This way? Follow the trail where? Well, I can't. She's... She's glitching, so I think we have to. Well, Natty's glitching, so we have to restart. She's right there, but... Mm. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. Okay, this so is not she... Good. What? They She's going over way. there? But we were over there. <sighs> Oh, 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 no! Wait, I need to get the bag. Darn it. There's no need to be difficult. I mean, you. This drafts. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. Darn it. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry Darn it, you experienced forgot. something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. No, my no, mother no. was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. Darn it. But in other ways, it seems like it was only I can't see him so clearly. I'm so sorry. Must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. Mm, let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Professor Howen will never believe this. what they deserved. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. I 
did it. And an Ashwinder, no less. Where is he? There's a toilet. Out, Achi. Sorry. We need to get this open. They actually put him in a crate. Alohomora. Alohomora. He killed my father. Oh, I'm so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Oh, Archie! You're here! Oh, oh you're safe! Mother! Oh, mother! Father's friends are in danger. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want You're to worry sad. you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. How am I not Thank you for your help today. Mm, how am I not 24? 